Hi and welcome to my elementary OS new installation. I have installed Zardi and the Surfing icons and I checked all the menus and settings and so on. So we'll go over them as well. Uh, let's go and have a look how elementary OS looks. First thing maybe when you go to application you see here you have two possibilities. You can watch icons like this or you can do it like that or scroll or click here so those are the applications here we have the clock date and time settings my recording variety sound uh, Spotify just works wired the Bluetooth which I can enable and all kinds of notification from lots of elements and then logging out and locking etc the normal things I've installed Aureola Skeleton already with a nice little logo for elementary. We're at the latest kernel and we have uh, temperature like so. And all the rest, simple screen recorder is recording at the moment. Not so much CPU usage, 10% I think it is. So that's about that. Um, multitask view. This is a tweak tool to change icons. Gnome tweak tool. We have the app center, which looks like this. So this is where you get your software or where you get a notice that you can update elements. So I've updated already. So you can go inside one of these uh, categories and then take a look up, one up. You just can scroll down and scroll up. And there's a little button on the side just to install everything. So that looks quite uh, easy and uh, interesting for people to just install it i have installed already firefox uh, geary evolution as well i've installed lots of stuff the terminal is here atom and the screenshots where does this software come from why where uh, how do i install everything as you know by now i have a github and on this it, github there's an ultimate elementary os so next time i visit elementary os i will start from this setup and then install all these uh, programs and this is well some uh, screenshots from the last time when i visited elementary os so it's still uh, in process of getting updated here so all this is the software here. I install all needed software at once and etc. etc. So the things you see, you might see, are not standard elementary, but are in fact already tuned and tweaked. Okay, so that being said, let's have a look at the settings. So this is the normal system setting. How this will look in a normal... Uh, what, what is normal? What is normal? The, the normal thing is the elementary icons and the elementary theme. So in a bit we're going to change all that. So we're going to change all elements. And But first let's have a look at the settings. So you can change here everything. So that kind of looks normal. You can change the dock. But the dock is this one. It's actually plank. So you can use the plank themes as well. So lots of plank themes are on dot. Uh, not github from Eric Dubois so I've installed them all and I've chosen for translucent panel and size and size you can do whatever you want etc hot corners languages notification security color displays keyboard I've been in here to have my custom uh, yeah the terminal is not gnome terminal it's called pantheon terminal it's quite interesting to know if you want to make a, I don't know, a shortcut or refer to it and by any means so Pantheon terminal rather than something else mm -hmm. power we've changed some things here never do nothing never the printer was uh, not successful yeah it was successful in the end so I have this little script um, on the system which is here so these are my files for my Canon and this is the install Canon somewhere here. 
So this installs then the, these drivers and then everything worked fine. So in the end it was successful, not out of the box. I had to do so, this, uh, this installation here. Okay. Bluetooth works fine. I had to change something into the ETC Bluetooth uh, configuration file. You see that on Bottle.pe, and then it works. Sharing info. I have to make. I had to make an icon for this element here. You can change it as well. I had to make an icon for this one. For this one. For this one. And inside here. And as well inside here, I guess. Mm, inside here for this one. So I think three, four, five. I don't know. Icons to to make for the system to be consistent and um, well I think it's time to take a look so what we do we install the GNOME tweak tool and we go and change elements so I've installed ArcDark which is this kind of look and also ArcDark red which gives the red elements and this is your elementary again so it's whether what you like of course so I'm kind of uh, well, font of this element, this arc red dark, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna start maybe with Advaita. So, this is the look in Advaita. Let's open also the folders. The folders, what is this? Like that, like so, and then like so, and then no, not what I want. Well, like this. So we're going over all the icons. The breeze cursor. Let's put this one here. There we go. So this is elementary. Um, yeah, I do think the folders will never follow. That's true. So from all the programs that run, you sh really should shut down the files and open it again. Otherwise, it will not follow the theme. As you see, it will not change with it. So let's delete this one and let's just look at the system settings then. High color, high contrast, humanity, humanity dark. And here we are, the Sarti icon. So all Sarti icons are accounted for, have been created. And this is breeze dark, that's why it changes. Flat icons, Sarti flexible, everything blue. Everything white, everything mono. And here we are back at Sardi Vertex, and this is something else. Ubuntu mono and so on. So let's keep it at Sardi Ghost Flexible Arc, for instance. And then we can close this one. And here all elements are okay. Here everything is okay. This is the arc element, that's why we have here this gets a removable drive okay so um, let's take a look at file manager hmm. just thinking what name is this thing actually I don't know so anyway this is the file manager from elementary OS and we've chosen for arc theme so Saturday flexible arc folders and like I said, it will not change. You have to really close this thing and then reopen it and you'll see other folders. So, okay, that's fine. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, we have an another theme. We have other cursors as well. Breeze Snow is installed. I'm not sure if it will kick in right away or if we have to log off and log on again. Let's wait and see. Um, let's take in the meantime the monocolora, like so. Voila. So everything looks okay. All elements have been changed. There is one thing I did not change. That was deep down somewhere. I thought, whoa, how, how and why should I do this? this elements so 
this is actually coming from part from mine and part from someone else I don't know so I didn't go into that detail to figure out what that was so I think we have uh, seen it all and we can conclude the movie so all icons have been created and uh, like always enjoy Linux